Hey there, my name is Kate Vakel and welcome to Craft Beer Fridays. Today we are celebrating Star Wars Life Day with episode 13, Bee Nectar Strikes Back. This is a honey wine aged in bourbon barrels from Bee Nectar. They are located in Ferndale, Michigan. This bottle was $21 retail and is 16% ABV. So we are about to go in. Before that, I do want to show you the side of the bottle a long time ago in a basement not far from Detroit. May the pores be with you. I love all of that. This is already too fancy for me. I'll do the little wrap around. And oh boy, I brought the wrong kind of bottle opener. I was going to use my Millennium Falcon bottle opener, but obviously that's not going to happen. We're going to go in with a legit one here. All right. Oh gosh, I'm terrible at this. Oh, oh. Oh, the pressure. This probably should have been a Wino Wednesdays episode, but you know what? Sorry, too late for that. Literally yellow bee. That's what this, that's what this looks like. Shaddy, quit rubbing on the box. What'd you think? For those of you that don't know, this is my cat Shadow. And he is the best cat in the whole world. Aren't you? Technically, this is the 40 year anniversary of the holiday special. So we're celebrating. Oh man, this is, I'm just gonna have to pour all this in here because, oh, it's just delicious. But let's go in and try it. Cheers. This is probably the best thing I have freaking ever tasted. Are you kidding me? Girl, I am shook. I am shook to the innards of my core. However, the only downside to this wine was once I was finished, the aftertaste reminded me of when I got my wisdom teeth removed and the food stays in your holes. And then you get that weird rotten food, disgusting mouth taste. But otherwise it was great. If you can get your hands on this, do it right now. Bee Nectar, you did this so good and beyond <laughs> i might cry i might cry this is so good couple hitting points here it is literally like drinking liquid honey the bourbon warms your soul and it's a perfect mixture if you had a if you had a cold this would be your go-to drink i would never know that this is 16 percent because it is hardly boozy if i rated <laughs> okay now i can taste the bourbon if I rated beers on my channel, which I don't, this would be a hundred out of ten. Ha! Huh. Now it's time for the topic of the day, which is going to be Boba Fett. Since we are celebrating Life Day, he made his first official on-screen appearance during the holiday special, but his first ever appearance was at the San Anselmo County Fair, located in California. Pretty cool, I know. You can obviously tell I collect Star Wars stuff, and for those of you collectors out there, I do wanna talk about the rocket-firing Boba Fett. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, I really recommend watching The Toys That Made Us. It's available on Netflix. Season one, episode one is about Star Wars. Obviously, this is not the rocket firing Boba Fett. Those mostly got discontinued because parents were afraid their children would choke on the little piece that fired. That's why they're so rare. But later, Kenner then turned into Hasbro and appeased the people and did a new one that came out. So this is none of those. It just has the little promotion there on the front. I do love me some Boba Fett though. I have the Mandalorian symbol tattooed on my leg. Also shout out to Jeremy Bullock because I mean, you were the character, so that's kind of important. <laughs> Unfortunately, I kind of want to complain about something. So I usually order the Smuggler's Bounty Box. It's a every other month subscription that you can get, but they recently moved to Amazon. So we got our box and this was one of the things that was included, but it's Boba Fett, obviously, with his bounty on Solo. So really cool. And they give you this background with the Darth Vader or whatnot. So that's kind of a cool movie moment pop deal because I do collect them. I have just the regular Boba Fett here. But the only other thing that came with it was a Lando keychain and a mystery mini. So I paid like 35 bucks for three things. When you used to get t-shirts, socks, a patch, a pin, all sorts of cool things used to come in this box. And then when they switched to Amazon, it's like, guess what? You're not getting that much for your money. 
So I'm kind of upset with that and a lot of people were online too. Obviously I didn't comment, I'm not trying to be that person, but it just sucked because I was expecting more and it just didn't happen. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you all had a happy Thanksgiving. Please go watch the holiday special. It's available on YouTube. It's free. We're celebrating life day today. I love hosting trivia, even though I get super nervous. But don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell for notifications when I upload videos. And remember, life is too short to drink bad beer.